Well, we are back to winter now, so we're looking at our hurricane barrier camera over the eyeway. Roadways are dry, good shape, no weather related issues during the morning or evening commute today. Our threat tracker is in the green. Late tonight and Friday is when we've got our next round of wintry weather that's going to be moving in. It starts off as snow, but it does change to some sleet, freezing rain, and rain for our area. So accumulation is going to be lower where that mix or change happens. First, we expect that to be at the coastline, and it takes longer further inland. As far as coastal and inland area temperatures go right now, we're all running mostly in the 20s, between about 26 in Smithfield to near 30 in Newport. Hyannis still at 32, Providence at 29. Live radar, just seeing some clouds here. Uh, radar is picking up on perhaps a few flurries right across the Mass Pike. If we widen out the view, a storm system down across the deep south is the one that we're going to be tracking, lifting to the north and east. Eventually, the center of low pressure is going to be passing just offshore. High pressure to the north of us is providing the cold air out ahead of that system for today. So this morning, plan on a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures trying to get back up to around the freezing mark by early afternoon. And the afternoon highs running around the lower and middle 30s at 2 o'clock. 4 o'clock in the afternoon around 34. And we're still near 34 degrees at 6 o'clock this evening. Night starts off dry. Even at midnight, still expecting it to be cloudy and cold. And then heavy snow expected by tomorrow morning. Morning start of the commute. So we could be looking at snowfall rates of one to two inches per hour for several hours after, say, three or four in the morning. So here we go at two o'clock this afternoon with those cloudy but dry conditions. Still quiet, 11 o'clock at night, a few flurries before that steadier band of snow moves in. This is four o'clock in the morning. Now watch the sleet and the rain offshore. That gradually lifts northward. So we've seen that mix and change to sleet as the morning commute rolls on, first at the coastline and then further inland. By the late morning hours. Exactly how quickly that, that mix happens will determine exactly how much snow we see. Now, notice in central and northern New England, still snowing into the afternoon. A few of those snow showers may wrap back through. Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts at the end of the day. I want to get in close and show you the temperatures. At midnight tonight, we're in the middle and upper 20s in Smithfield into Providence and low 30s near the coastline. So, three in the morning when we're getting that very heavy rain, we're, or very heavy snow rather, our temperatures are in the middle and upper 20s. Then, watch what happens through the morning. We start to see that mix or change to sleep. This is 6 a.m. As the temperatures gradually warm, we may even get above freezing for a few hours. We could actually change to plain rain or freezing rain for a time. This is 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday. This is a, a messy mix of snow to the north, icy conditions in northern Rhode Island, and potentially some rain in southern Rhode Island. Now, it does taper off to showers, snow, and rain showers in the afternoon hours. Temperatures between about 30 and 35. Watch what happens at the end of the day. The temperatures are going to rapidly drop. Any water moisture on the roadways will rapidly freeze up late on Friday and Friday evening, once again, making for some slippery travel. Now, most of the accumulations happen in the morning on Friday before that mixer change over to sleep. So again, amounts a little lower at the coastline, two to four inches, four to eight inches of snow and sleet further inland. So Providence area looking at four or five inches of snow expected from that system, highest totals north of that. So 37 degrees for today, mid 30s for tomorrow, Saturday as well. Some cold nighttime lows here coming up over the weekend and early next week. Sunday's highs a little milder than Saturday, near 40, but then we're back to very cold air for Monday. I will struggle to even hit 30.